next guest from five seasons is Tommy Shelby on Peaky Blinders. Now you can see him whisper his way through the number one movie in the country, A Quiet Place, part two. Please, I can't help you. A Quiet Place Part 2 is in theaters now. Please welcome Killian Murphy. Hi, Killian. How are you? Hey, Jimmy. How's it going? Good. How I'm are you? I'm doing well. I, you've got a tough act to follow tonight. I mean, really ridiculously tough. Unless Dave Chappelle is hiding behind that couch. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> he is, unfortunately. How are you doing? I'm OK. I'm OK. You're in Ireland, right? Yeah, Dublin City. What time is it there right now? It's 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 not our, it's like 1 a.m. Ah, so are there people sleeping in your house right now? Uh, yes, but I'm in the I'm the basement, so they're like they're up there. I see. All right, very good. By the way, you know Emily Blunt was here uh, last week, and this it's weird because a Quiet Place Part Two, uh, you had the big premiere in New York like 14 months ago or something. Yeah. And everybody, and it was everybody loved it. And then, yeah. it, then you just had nothing. No one else saw it for a full year, more than a year after that, which yeah. is dude, probably I don't know. That's probably never happened. Nothing like that has ever happened before. I mean, that's very strange. Yeah. You remember that night in the whole in the deal, what was going on? Yeah. Well, you remember. I mean, the whole world was in this kind of state of anxiety, and everyone was so sort of unsure of what was happening and um, we were just kind of getting on with it and doing the press and everything and then we went to the premiere and um, people loved the movie and then you had a party and everything right after the movie yeah yeah we had a we had a really tense after party <laughs> like we all loved the movie and it, and it was a great response but we didn't feel like a party atmosphere necessarily yeah no not not at all and did, are the movie theaters open in Ireland now or are they still closed there Next week, I believe. Oh, next be week. Open. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. good. All right. So in the movie, and I assume based on that haircut, either you have, you're engaged in a lawsuit with Supercuts, or you're still shooting <laughs> Peaky Blinders. I, I finished um, on Friday, last Friday. Ah, you so. did. Oh, and that's the last season, right? Season six of the show. Yeah. 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 Did you take so, anything? Did you uh, did you snatch a memento, a razor blade, or anything from the set? You know, <laughs> I can't. I don't really, I can't ever wear a, a flat cap walking around. I did take one of his very nicely tailored coats because they're very, you know, made for me and it was very beautiful. I took that as a memento. That's uh, it though. I thought this was interesting, especially after doing all these uh, seasons of Peaky Blinders, that you're on that Calm app, that app, that meditation app. You read a story on that thing. Yeah. How, yeah. Th like, I mean, it's it's acting, right? Reading, I guess it's a similar thing, but how do you approach um, making it interesting and also trying to put people to sleep? Yeah, it, it's a strange direction to get because you you're, you're, you have to be, uh, I suppose, kind of dully so soporific. <laughs> yeah. Really, that's, your, that's the direction. It was a very beautiful written story about Ireland, and I'm a big fan of sleeping, you know? Anything I can do is <laughs> very... <laughs> other other people to sleep. I'm all I'm all for that. It's the only gig I had during lockdown, so I was very happy. It's like very. It's one of the most popular uh, audio pieces on the app, I believe. Well, I think you know. I think Harry Styles is on there as well. I bet he gets more hits than I do. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like he's not putting as many people to sleep. You know, I feel like maybe people are tuning in with a different for a different reason with Harry. That could be true. That yeah. could, I can't fulfill that. No. You were in a, you were in a band when you were a kid, right? That's kind of how you uh, the, your first experience in performing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really what I wanted to do. Like a lot of actors who I talk to, you know, are failed or frustrated musicians, and that was for a long time, all through my kind of formative years to, to my early twenties. That's what I wanted to do, but it just didn't it didn't it didn't work out. Would you consider yourself to be failed or frustrated or both? I think. A bit of a bit of both, really. Yeah. And yeah. what was the name of the band that you're in? 
Oh, so we were heavily into Frank Zappa when we were, I still am, but like we were, we discovered Frank Zappa at a very sort of, at that age where you just absorb things and he was the, it, it, it just blew our minds. Uh, so we, we, I, we love this album, Hot Rats, that he made, I think in like 69. And there was a record or the tune on that record called um, Sons of Mr. Green Jeans. So we, we nicked that. I know on, on Pinky Blinders, you guys had a lot of well-known, uh, great musicians contributing songs to the soundtrack. Like, I think we yeah. you two did that. Um, who else was on that soundtrack? Oh man, we've had, um, we've been really lucky. Well, Nick Cave, obviously, has been very generous with his music. Uh, Radiohead have been really generous. PJ Harvey. We've had Tom Waits on there, White Stripes, like. Are you involved um, in that at all, as far as, as contacting these people or talking to them um, about it? I, I do do what I can, you know, and, and the, the times that I've met musicians, they, they seem to really like the show. Maybe it's because of the music um, or the themes. I don't really know, but they, they seem to be into it, and they've been really generous in giving the music, like I said. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't know that there's any other show that has a soundtrack um, that is that, I mean, maybe since, like, The Sopranos or something like that. That's yeah. that heavy, you know? We're really lucky. It all started with Nick Cave, really, that tune, The Red Right Hand, you know, that... that kind of set the tone. He planted the bad seeds, and from it, <laughs> a soundtrack grew. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, I don't think I can end it more poetically than that. And um, uh, by the way, the movie <laughs> is very good and very scary. A Quiet Place Part Two is the movie. It is in theaters, movie theaters. We can go to them in America now. Uh, Killian Murphy, everybody. Thank you, Killian. <laughs> Appreciate it. Get some rest. We'll be back with the Linda Lindas. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.